it's important to be curious, to know where it's coming from, uh, how it's made. So much of it has to do with educating our mills and manufacturers about what we're even interested in achieving. Now, you know, my obsession is to know as much as possible about the product and about the process. And in turn, that's led me to focusing on supply chain heavily. And this idea of trying to get close to a harmonious way of working between individuals and parties and uplifting one another. For us, it's been um, choosing the mills that we want to work with that has a very sustainable approach. They use machinery that use uh, less energy and water, that they think about that whole process as well. That's the beginning of having a sustainable background to the fabrics. I mean, I recently have relocated to Milan so I could be closer to my factories, um, which are in Italy. And it is quite a local operation. I'm not shipping fabric from mills in Italy to New York and then sending goods back. So everything is kind of like, it's localized. Uh, yeah. Sometimes surprising by how interested the final consumer is. And I think that is changing quite a lot lately, um, that people want to know where it is from, how it's produced. They want to know what mill. You know, so much of our lives now, there's, we're so conscious of everything that's going on and what's happening in the world. And I think it just makes sense that people want to know where things are coming from and having that transparency. In terms of clothing, it's making something that will last through ages, um, both in terms of the fabric or the yarn uh, and in terms of design. That's one challenge, you know, that to explain that why is it better to buy something that 100% wool rather than a mix. 100% wool fabric can be reused easier. Um, it can be, you know, recycled much easier than a blend. And I think that's part of also sustainability is creating something that you'll keep forever rather than like something that you'll keep for a season. Well, I think you can kind of reverse engineer down from products. You can change the, the type of dyes that, that you're utilizing. You can go to more ethical factories. One can't be sustainable and not be hands-on with the entire process. Phasing out synthetics with like natural fibers such as wool. You definitely feel like we've just started with this. I mean, in terms of zero waste, uh, we manufacture a lot of smaller goods from our fabric scraps and we utilize a lot of our scraps to make, you know, new products like children's clothes or mending our current collection. It's a very circular economy where you can reinvest that in training the next generation. When you see such kind of a beautiful materials being left in there and people not using that at all, just being wasted throw away maybe. So I just want to do things what we can do. Anything we can use, we can we can we just use them. I mean, we did our first first ever collection from, we went to Italian mills and bought leftover fabrics, literally dead stock fabrics. And that was the way we could afford making a first collection. Wool, wool is easy. It's easy to sew, easy to construct, easy to dye. It lasts for ages. People actually like investing in like traditionally wool products like coats or suits and tailoring, trousers, they're things that people really invest in. I have been using wool material for its functionality and quality. Most of my technique outwear, but it's actually is wool material. I found out that it's very interesting to using wool as a new way. We are very interested in uh, developing our own wools and we know how helpful Woolmark company is. One part specifically has been uh... As we wanted to replace more and more synthetic fabrics with natural fabrics, wool has been like a very important part of that process. So I'm quite, you know, excited to be looking at how wool can be manipulated to mimic some of those attributes of more um, synthetic fabrics. That's my interest in Walmart Prize and why I wanted to apply. It's also fun to work with wool in a way that are unexpected. So like last season, we had this like towel look that kind of broke the internet and it was actually wool, it was like a knitted wool. So it was really fun to like surprise people and like make it fun. I'm just so excited to be a part of something that is invested in the preservation of a historic fiber and also creating awareness around the uses and the sustainable aspects of it.